Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. All right, as you can see, today we've got just a pre-tied fly almost in the hook. We're going to be showing you a little bit of a technique on how to tie the low-fat minnow. Um, it's become a pretty popular pattern out there. And uh, one of the things that I've seen is that uh, to make a good-looking head and eye, there are a few little subtle techniques I've been working on over the past several years as I've been tying this fly. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you the tips and tricks that I use for it and go from there. So the first thing that you see is that, you know, the there's the marabou is pretty sparse on this. You don't need a lot of marabou, just enough so it doesn't mat down when it hits the water. Um, and the head is going to be made out of Bruiser Blend Junior. So I'm just going to take my thread and wrap it to right behind the eye. And this is a chub color, so I'm going to use tan Bruiser Blend. And uh, before I tie that in, I'm just going to kind of stack it all up. Now as you're doing this, keep in mind that you, you know, you're know you going to be doubling it over on top of itself. So this is probably a little bit too much. I'm going to thin that out a little bit. Keep in mind that you'll, you're only wanting about, you're, or however much you put on is going to be double what shows on the head of the fly, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to tie that in. Uh, the other thing is, and this clump is, you know, like about that long, and I'm not going to tie it in right in the middle of the clump. I'm going to tie it in so that these butts barely cover up that thread. So I'll tie that in with you know, two or three nice snug wraps, and then I'll do the same thing on the bottom with cream colored Bruiser Blend Junior. And just to be clear, the, the top and the bottom are tied with Bruiser Blend Junior. So I'll just stick that on about like that. Tie it in with some really good snug wraps. I'm using Danville's 140 for this fly so that I can really get tight when I wrap it down. Okay, so the other, the next thing to do is just kind of to fan it out um, like this. So you see how I have that fanned out. That way when I pull this back like this, it's going to cover up the sides of the fly as well as just the top. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just going to take the top section and tie it in by the very tips of that bruiser blend. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. Okay, so once I have that tied in, I'm just going to advance my thread forward and whip finish it. Alright, so that's all we're tying into this fly, but there are several steps still to go. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is focus on that head. So if you look at the head, it's kind of a round little bulb of thread that we have here. And we're going to be sticking some uh, 3D eyes onto it. And it's easier to stick something um, to this head if it's a flat surface. Before I do that though, I'm just going to brush this head out. So as you can see there, we've got a really nice minnow-ish profile. Um, to flatten down the, the thread, I either use these debarbing pliers if you have those. But really what I like is uh, a pair of needle nose pliers that don't have teeth in them and uh, are turned down. That way I can just come in here and smash that flat. So you can see now that that squeezes that head quite a bit so that I can stick eyes on it better. Uh, from here I'm just going to color it. I've got a sepia colored chart pack marker and I'm just going to kind of saturate the, the head part and then I'll smooth and blend that out with my fingers. And I'll do the same thing with Delta Brown on the very top. And so that kind of blends all those colors nicely together. And then, on the bottom, I'm going to use goldenrod. So 
So, so I have that bottom color in. I'll blend that as well just a little bit. All right, so we're looking really minnowish right now. So we're just going to take two of these uh, 3D eyes. I guess you could use just flat sticker eyes as well, and it would be just as good. But I just stick them on my finger like that as I'm getting ready to uh, tie these in or put them, stick them on. And I'm just going to lightly dab that in place just enough to hold it where I want it to be. So I've got the, the two eyes here, and those will not stay very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinforce the center of these eyes with resin. And I'm going to use a very thin resin. I'm, I'm using uh, Loon Flow for this. And what I'm going to do is just squeeze these eyes together. Come in here with the flow and just put a few drops in. And let that soak down and cure it. Okay, so once we've got some resin on the top, I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the bottom. And that resin will just kind of soak down in. And I am going to squeeze them just a little bit while I put this last little bit of resin between them. Okay, so our eyes are pretty well stuck. But um, the resin won't really adhere the eyes to the fly. So if you're using a UV resin, it's best to make a full kind of helmet of, of resin. And so I'm going to do that with uh, Loon Thick. And it's really good stuff. The other, the other key thing here is you need to have a rotary vise. And you'll see why in just a second. So I'm going to take the, the loon thick and really put a healthy amount on. Just like that. You just kind of create a band of it. And it has a longer working time than the thin stuff or the flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push enough resin to the back of the eye so that it creates kind of a little band of resin and it touches that bruiser blend. And what that does is it creates a complete shell around the head. So about a bodkin's width worth of resin on the outside of the eye that touches the bruiser blend. Alright, so here we're we're pretty well set with our eye and so now I will just cure that up and I'll give this one a little bit extra time and then what I've found to be the fastest for this is after I do that instead of putting another layer of flow on I'm just gonna take some head cement or you could take like some hard head or soft head or any of those finishing compounds Try not to drip a bunch on your desk like I just did. But I'll just stick it on like that. And that will cure rock solid. Anyway, that's just kind of a, a, a way to improve your low-fat minnows. Remember with the Marabou, with the Bruiser Blend, less is more. And if you have a rotary vise when you're doing these heads with, with the eyes, it'll make them turn out a lot neater. Anyway, all the materials I used for this are, are available on our website, on our store site, store.flyfishfood.com. And a tutorial to tie this whole thing is located at www. Oh, yeah, flyfishfood.com. I'm not very smart. Um, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, share the video, do whatever you want with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. <music>